Hi, everybody. My name is Ricardo Sai. I'm a brand photographer, director, and a creative producer. Uh, today, I'm having an espresso with uh, Jill Tiny, who is uh, um, a wonderful person that I met recently, and she's uh, the founder of uh, Collaboration Global. Um, Jill, so do you want to tell us a few words about who you are and uh, what you do? Thank you. Well, firstly, thank you for having me, Ricardo. Absolute joy to be here for an espresso. Uh, I love my espresso. Um, what do I do? Um, I do everything. Uh, I'm a business coach. Um, I've got several companies. We've got properties abroad. I'm a domestic goddess. I'm a mother, um, a wife. Uh, and I just love life and having fun. But my passion, as you say, is collaboration global. And that's the fun bit about what I do and what I have a smile on my face every single day. Fantastic, Jill. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I found out about your uh, movement, actually, uh, uh, quite recently, and it's fantastic. So uh, this espresso is about, uh, um, it's about collaboration. So it's, um, and the theme is growing through uh, collaboration. So I um, wanted to ask you a bit more about uh, how did you start this movement? Uh, so what was your, what, is, what was the reason? Uh, what's your origin story? How did you come up with this idea? So, um... yeah, I think it's always been with me. I think most people that have a purpose in their life have something on their heart. And then when all the pieces of the jigsaw come together, it's like, ah, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's why I'm here on planet earth. So as a kid, I didn't like anything that was unfair. I didn't like anything um, where, the, you know, there was this disparity of like, well, why have they got that? And why haven't that? And that's not right. It doesn't feel right. And then as you grow older, you go, well, the world is like that. Hey, what can you do? Um, and then I met somebody in 2012 uh, and together we started another company called Be Collaboration. And the essence of the collaboration was who you are being. What, what is it about you that means that you are able to collaborate and how can you be collaboration as opposed to simply doing collaboration so the two of us got together and we set it up we used to have these face-to-face -face meetings um well he was on a mission in another direction so although we were going that way we kind of went that way so we agreed to part ways back in 2019 but i was still passionate about collaboration because i realized that was the tool to unlock everything it unlocks personal development, it unlocks your business development, but also unlocks how you can make an impact globally, hence the collaboration global. So so why is collaboration? I mean, by the way, I wanted to point out that I I really believe in collaboration. I love collaborating with uh, with, with with people, um, uh, with clients and with, with partners uh, in, in my, my line of work. But why do you think collaboration is so important? Um, because it's a natural, it's something we all do naturally when we're kids um, and society that we are in at the moment um, seems to beat it out of us. You know, when you're at school, you're in groups or, or individual spaces. You know, if you share your homework, it's called cheating. Uh, we're not taught how to collaborate effectively. So we generally look on this hierarchy of, of teams of like, well, I'm in charge and you do what I say and then we'll get this project off the ground. But actually, if you come together and, you know, your talent is storytelling and photography and you match that with somebody else who can create fantastic websites and you match that to somebody else who can bring together a fantastic team and they're a catalyst for whatever their genius is, then all of a sudden three people like that together, magic can happen. So my thinking is, well, in business, that's common sense. Why would you not collaborate in business? It's bonkers not to collaborate. But a lot of people are scared. They, they see it as, you know, I can't, I can't talk to that person. They're another business coach. I'm a business coach. They might steal my stuff. They might take my IP. They might even take my clients. <gasps> can't do that. So you kind of distance yourself. But actually, which is exactly what happened to me, I partnered with another business coach because he loved doing that bit. I loved doing that bit. Neither of us liked doing that bit. So we needed to get somebody else in to do that. And the client gets the best of who you are. So why would you not do that? Because the client gets your genius and then you are known for that thing that you love doing rather than the thing that you actually don't really like doing at all. It just makes common sense to me to do that in business, but then take it to the next level. And what you learn, you pay forward so that the world can get value. So you're leveraging everything that you do so that you as a photographer can reach many, many, many more people if you're in a community of people that want you to do well. 
that's that's really really inspiring uh thank you jill um uh, how do you think the pandemic has changed the way we collaborate with each other? Did it have an effect and uh, an impact on that, you think? Oh, massively. That's a really good question, actually, because I think that's when a lot of the population just woke up to what was important, you know, to the glue that keeps this country together. It's not the people at the top, the government. It's not those people that tell us what to do and follow the rules. It's the people that show up. You know, the NHS, the people that came out of retirement to go back into hospital to work, that turned up every day in supermarkets and didn't want to, were worried, were scared, but did it because people needed to buy the essentials of life. The road sweepers, the, you know, people that collected our rubbish, the, all of these people are the glue that holds this world together. And we need to value them as equally because they, if we don't have those to help us and collaborate, we're stuck. You know, if the people that didn't take the rubbish away just, you know, said, right, I've had it, I'm, I'm scared about COVID, I'm going to stay at home, where would we be? So I think the pandemic has made us all appreciate each other a lot more. And you cannot collaborate unless you have that acknowledgement and appreciation of the people that are around you and supporting you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I really agree. And I, and I think also it starts with the really valuing ourselves as well so i mean of course you, you know appreciating uh, other people and collaborating with them but i think it really starts with yourself as well so i think mm -hmm. that's an element of that you know and i think covid the pandemic has been uh, has been a huge um, opportunity in terms of really um understanding what do we want in life uh, um what do we want to do how do we want to change our narrative? And in a way, it's, it's quite inspiring the fact that you have changed your narrative, creating these movements. You know, so how, how can we how can we change? You mentioned before the fact that through what you're doing and through collaborations and, and collaboration global as well, you think you can change a global the, the global narrative. So I mean, it seems like quite a, an ambitious. Uh, mission. So I just wanted to ask you a bit more about that. You know, so how can we change this the global story of the planet? You know, how can we do our bit in that sense? Uh, and what, what what's your thought? It, it is a bonkers mission. You're right. It is totally ridiculous and totally unreasonable. But nothing ever happened with people going, oh well, that's not really fair. That's not really reasonable. So I won't do it. You have somebody has to go. This is not right. Let's see what we can do. So the philosophy is. You create a culture of love and connection, deep connection and abundance. We can live in abundance. There is enough of everything to go around. We don't need to be worried because we have it. We just need to distribute it better. So you work on yourself first. You understand what your purpose is, understand what your genius is, understand why you are here. And people that come to our community don't necessarily know these things, but through us, we can find out, we can investigate, we can find out what those, those missions are. And sharing that culture of love uh, and being together, what will happen, this is the theory, I have no idea if this is going to work, but this is my theory, the more people we connect with, the more people we bring into the culture, the more people we share and support and help to be the best individuals that we can be, we then start growing internally, able to help more people externally, make our businesses better externally, and then there will be a little tipping point of the culture going out exponentially across countries across the world. Now, when that happens, it may never be in my lifetime, but goodness me, it would be great to see it if it did. Then the people that currently have the power, i.e. the people with all the money, will have no sway over us because we won't need the stuff. We won't need to consume as much. We'll be thinking about the planet. We'll be thinking about how to help each other. So the whole reason for being is to make a difference to one person or to as many people as we possibly can. Imagine if you only ever had one client, it's like your whole reason for being here is stunted. You know, the stories that you wanna tell, the stories you wanna share, you know, if you can help a thousand people, a million people, then your job is done. But helping one is the, is the place we all have to start. So come together, create, learn the culture, be part of the culture, expand the culture, teach each other about how to be the, their best selves watch the magic happen and it is happening this is what's lovely bit by bit by bit there's some amazing stories coming out of the community of how people are totally transforming well jill you you've you have just mentioned uh something that i'm really passionate about which is stories and uh hearing stories and and helping organization to tell better stories uh, through film and photography 
that's what I do. And I absolutely think we can change the world uh, through storytelling. Um, and you also mentioned magic, <laughs> which is another really uh, incredible and powerful word, which I'm also very, uh, very, very passionate about. Uh, um, so um, just to finish off these uh, um, very inspiring espresso that we just had with you, uh, how can we create uh, uh, magic, the magic of collaboration? Uh, and uh, have you got any takeaways for our audience? And, and uh, I will probably add one before I, I, I leave it to you, which is uh, uh, come to one of your events. Uh, so maybe you can just mention how people can connect with you. How can they come to, to one, one of your events? And if you have any other takeaways in terms of how can we can collaborate uh, with people any just quick tips and that would be fantastic okay um well yeah come to a meeting that's the first one collaborationglobal.org um but yeah we've got lots of, we're on clubhouse we're all over the place but um i think to start with if you're starting on your own and you're not connecting up with uh, collaboration global surround yourself with good people surround yourself with people that want the best for you you know we are the average of the five people we associate with the most and not the five people that are going, oh, are you sure? Is that you really should be doing? People that challenge you in an honest and loving way. Okay, that's a great idea, Jill. How are you going to do that? You know, it's, it's that kind of challenge to, to push you to your best, to stretch that comfort zone. Because if we're not stretching the comfort zone, we are um, doing a disservice to the reason that we've been born. So find out what your purpose is if you don't know. Then start fulfilling that. Work out what your genius is, what you really love doing. And really become specialist with that because you are special in your own right and you are here for a reason to so find that out and then start pulling people closer to you attract people closer to you that are going to support you and help you and in turn you can do the same for them and if you're not sure the quickest way is to come to one of our meetings and you'll get an idea it's fun it's hilarious in fact um and we have um you get an insight and somebody said it's their feel good fix every month. That's what they do it for. And they learn about themselves and their business as well. It's, it's great. I, I've been to a couple of events and it's really, it's, it's really, really inspiring, inspiring and, and some really lovely people, including the host, which is uh, you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're a lovely host. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Thank so, you. Jill, uh, I really enjoy having this espresso. I might have a, 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 a proper one in a few minutes because it's still, uh, it's still early here in London. So um, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I hope uh, uh, to see you very soon at one of your events. Uh, oh, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Brilliant. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.